In the previous video, we learned how to set up Blender 2.8 Alpha release. Don't forget the full release will be in December 2018. Let's now proceed to know the tool by sketching freely. We will also configure our first comic page size as a preset. Let's start Blender. The first time it launches, the 3D cursor tool will be selected. Switch to Rectangle Selection tool to start working. Press Shift A and add a grease pencil object, Monkey. Let's start operating the digital pen with grease pencil. To rotate the view, right click and drag on the digital pen on any blank space point outside the grease pencil object. Press numpad 3 to return to front view. To pan the view, press shift and right click on your digital pen. Lift the pen slightly over the surface and drag the view on any direction. To zoom the view, press ctrl and right click on your digital pen. Lift up the pen slightly over the surface and drag up and down to zoom in or out. Those are the basics for interaction with the digital pen. Let's sketch freely to try more features and settings for creating comics on Blender. Grease Pencil works in the 3D space depending on the angle of the camera, but we want to focus our work on a 2D plane in the front view, just like if you were looking at a piece of plain paper in front of you. Press numpad 1. Press Shift A, Grease Pencil, blank to add a new Grease Pencil object on the screen. We will then go to Collections, which will resemble general scene layers like in a 2D layout printing application. Go over to Scene Collection, right-click, Add New. Let's name them Layer 01, Image Reference, and Layer 02. With Layer 01 Collection selected, go to the front or to view, and then add an empty image. Go to the Property panel and click on the empty icon. Click Open Image and select the reference image of Bridget Regan. Press 7 on the numpad key to switch to top view to see the imported image. Press 1 to go back to the front view and with the image selected, press X, R and type 90 on the numpad. This will rotate the image to be viewed in front of the camera. Press numpad period to get focus on this object. Press S to scale it accordingly. Go to the properties of the image and select transparency slider. Move it around 0.177. We would like to draw over this image. In our scene collection, layer 01 could be hidden from viewport by clicking on the eye icon, can be unselectable by clicking on the arrow, and can be hidden from render time by clicking the camera icon. Let's rename layer 02 with Grease Pencil Sketch. Leave it as selection. Go to the front view, press Shift A, and add a blank Grease Pencil object, and switch to Draw Mode from the Interaction Modes. Select the first brush on the tool panel, and over the Property panel, on Layers tab, click New Layer. Notice this is happening on the Pencil Icon Property region which contains layers. Name the layer Sketch Layer. Divide the window and click over the Material property. Here we define the stroke and fill colors for our pencil tool. I will select a light blue color. The top bar gives access to each of our custom strokes and fills. Practice the interaction with the canvas and your digital pen first to see that everything responds accordingly. Press 1 to return to Orto front view and start sketching. Let's also restrict the drawing plane to X. On the shading properties, let's change the color of the viewport. I like a low white color.
Let's also save the file now. Give it an appropriate name. Go to Overlay, uncheck Axis X, Y, uncheck the 3D cursor and Relationship Lines. You also have an option to show a custom 2D plane and changing its size. This will help you draw in proportions or have a sense of symmetry in your drawing. Grease Pencil has its own exclusive list of modifiers. Let's use the mirror modifier now. If I sketch something now, it will hide the stroke. Why? Because the empty image plane and the strokes are occupying the same space. To fix this, switch to object mode and we need to place the image a little bit away from the camera. This will expose the strokes from Grease Pencil. Select the image on Collection 1, make it selectable by clicking on the arrow and then press N to locate the Y axis a little bit back away from the camera. Press 1 to return to front view. Make layer 01 image reference on the collection unselectable and unrenderable. Click on layer 02, Grease Pencil and then switch to Draw Interaction Mode. Continue sketching freely. On the Pencil Icon properties we can also hide the layer, manipulate the opacity, lock it and many other things. To toggle the eraser while in draw mode, press Ctrl and left click mouse button, not the digital pen, but the real mouse device button. You can delete a layer and all its contents will be erased. If you use your mouse, your stroke lines are always going to be the same thickness as your tool. To check the tool settings, you have an icon on Properties. This will give you the information on the current tool selected and what combination of brush, parameters and stroke fill colors are active. If you press the plus sign, you can create a new custom brush with your own settings. I'm going to name this my Sketch Pencil. If you delete a brush and create a new one, Blender crashes. So just be careful to create and save your brushes by saving often. Restart Blender and back to the settings icon, my Grease Pencil tool is already marked and set to start sketching. Don't forget that once you place an image, you will also draw on the same space. Place back your image so your Grease Pencil strokes will show. Time for the digital pen to do its part. You can press smooth or strongly over the surface and Grease Pencil will pick up the level of sensitivity your tablet has for the strokes.
Remember, we have unique and exclusive modifiers for Grease Pencil. Let's select Mirror and apply it to the layer we are sketching now. And the results are instant since we are mirroring the x-axis. You can also reference a mirror object or only apply it to a layer or a pass number. If you want to apply the Grease Pencil modifier, you have to be in Object Mode. Hit Apply and then you can go back to continue your drawing on Draw Mode by selecting the Grease Pencil object. I will continue to sketch without the mirror modifier over the actress picture reference. When you're using a draw brush, you can erase by holding control and using the left mouse button in the physical mouse device. Let's get rid of the axis. Let's use the grid canvas to get a sense of plane and dimension. Grease pencil also has effects that can be applied to the drawing. We will check more of that in the following videos. Now that our sketch is finished, I will apply a new build modifier. This will set up two keyframes, one at the beginning and the other at the reference time until the drawing finishes itself to be sketched in the screen. If you press play on the timeline, you will see your sketch playback. It drew itself over 140 frames. Let's switch the time on frame end on the render properties to 140. Hover the timeline, press home. The timeline will focus on the frame range duration. And now let's prepare this for printing. We have a reference picture for a classical comic size page format. I have included a Photoshop size format document to make sure the artwork from Blender will match perfectly. American comic pages have an average of 25.7 by 16.8 centimeters at 300 dpi. So let's multiply 25.7 times 300 is equal to 7,710 pixels. And let's also multiply 16.8 times 300, which is equal to 5,040 pixels. Blender always rendered from a camera, not a view. However, Hover the 3D view and press Ctrl-Alt-Numpad-0. This will fix the camera to the current front view using the dimensions we enter. Press N to uncheck Lock Camera. Hover the 3D view and press Home. This will focus the entire render area into the camera of your viewport. Now you can check back again Lock to Camera to make sure this view stays with the camera always. You have different filters in collections. You will always want to use the View Layer filter. Hide the Layer 01 image reference by clicking on the eye icon and also the selection arrow and the camera icon. On the Output tab, let's define a new folder to save our sketch image. I'm going to use PNG format and RGB. Since I don't need to create transparency with this artwork, I don't need the alpha. Finally, you can go to Render and check the result. Our image is displayed against a dark grey background. This is because our world color was dark grey. Previously, we only changed our viewport color. Let's go to World Color and select the white color from the viewport.
Let's also save this comic page size as a preset. Click on this icon here and type the name of your preset. Name it accordingly. Press the plus sign and it's added to your presets. Now, no matter what the original format Blender has on your camera and aspect ratio, you can always switch to your comic page size for printing. If you prefer, switch the render display mode to image editor. I prefer new window. So here's the sketch render, and I can zoom in and see no pixel distortion. Vectors on Blender are really powerful for printing. Let's save the image. Press F3. Point to your images folder and save it as a PNG file. Open up Photoshop and open the picture you just saved. We need to configure this image to be correctly printed. Type resolution 300. Quality should be kept intact and this is your full comic book page. Even when zooming at 141.59%, the quality in pixels doesn't drop. When you work on Blender, you can have unlimited canvas and unlimited details in pencil strokes because they are vector information. But once you render to Photoshop, it becomes pixel information and scaling should be matched for printing.